the former governor of South Carolina telling voters she is a better choice than Donald Trump to beat Joe Biden and win the White House in November. Because we need someone who can serve eight years uninterrupted, day and night, and focus on what it's going to take to get solutions for the American people. In this coastal town, voters say they're concerned about controlling the U.S. borders, and Haley is the best choice to do that. She understands our um, our enemies and our uh, allies, our foreign enemies and allies, and she probably would have the best chance at talking to the president of Mexico, or and if he didn't want to negotiate with her, he, she just would know what to do to keep the immigrants out of our country. Haley, Trump's ambassador to the United Nations, said Trump is harming the United States on the world stage with his support for Vladimir Putin. Donald Trump is siding with a thug where half a million people have been wounded or killed because Putin invaded Ukraine. Donald Trump siding with a dictator who kills his political opponents. But Haley is trailing Trump in all the polls in her home state. A USA Today poll conducted last week found 65 percent of South Carolina voters favored the former president over Haley. Trump telling Fox News earlier this week he is already thinking about his choice of vice president. If something should happen, you have to have somebody that's going to be a great president. And some South Carolina voters say the former president's previous White House experience makes him a better choice. Regardless of the politics, some people think of him and stuff like that, he was a fine and great businessman. I think. And business, you run a business, people will come back to your business. Haley is the only remaining alternative for Republican voters who are concerned about Trump's electability. Everyone thinks he's going to bring this change that he had the opportunity before and, and didn't really make any of the change, and he also brought on new baggage. Kelly has said she will continue running until Super Tuesday in March, when a diverse range of 15 U.S. states will vote on their choice for the Republican nominee. I don't think she'll back down. Um, that would be really unfortunate if she did uh, lose South Carolina, but I really believe she has a better opportunity uh, in the fall to pull this off. South Carolina voters head to the polls on Saturday. Katherine Gibson, VOA News, Georgetown, South Carolina.